Happy Monday, Brian. Hope you enjoyed your three-day weekend. Junior high basketball cheer trials are today and tomorrow from 3.30 to 5. For those that cannot make it, your trial will be Wednesday at 3.30 or Thursday at 5.30. This will all happen at Bryan Elementary Cafeteria. Trial packets are available in the athletic department and must be completed to try out. If you have any questions or cannot attend the tryout, contact Coach Moore at cheerleading at bryanschools.net. Any girl basketball player in 7th through 12th grade that are interested in shoes for the upcoming basketball season, a representative from BSN Sports will be in training room today during lunches with shoe styles and sizes. Stop in and see what is available and get sized. Today and tomorrow, Mr. Gleckler will be meeting with Somers interested in the Hugo O'Brien Youth Leadership Program. Meetings are based on last names and the meeting will be during AA. Please enjoy just one of the many mishaps from the one act, the play that goes wrong. The cast and crew are working hard to bring this hilarious show to the stage November 12th through the 15th. $5 tickets on sale soon. The Brian Boys soccer team defeated Napoleon 4-0 on Saturday. Zach Seaman, Anthony Tomaszewski, Owen Popman, and Quinn Brown each scored goals. Isaac Lamore recorded seven saves in goal. Brian is now 5-9-2 on the season. The girls' team was also victorious, winning 4-1 over Wauseon. Ali Zimmerman and Ella Rao each scored twice in the win. The varsity football team fell to Huron on Saturday in the playoff game, 44-22. Caleb Kepler had two scores and Mikey Wolf had added another. The boys will be back in action this Friday at home against Wauseon. The cross-country teams competed in a league meet on Saturday morning. The boys finished in fourth place, while the girls finished in sixth. Josh Taylor finished second overall, with Trevor Mason finishing in eighth place. Addie O'Brien was the top finisher for the girls in 14th place. In junior high action, the girls team were the year league champs with Kate Faramayo winning the meet. Amber Zimmerman finished in third place, Avery Lambert in fourth, and Josie Arnold in fifth place. The boys finished fourth overall, and Nye Bradby, Gunnar Davis, and Dakota Bradbury finished 13th, 14th, and 15th. In volleyball action, the varsity defeated Cardinal Stretch on Thursday. The junior hosted Hicksville with the 7th grade losing in two sets and the 8th grade coming out on top in a three-set match. Congratulations to Emily Bassett and Reese Gorehouse for advancing to the state tennis tournament this weekend. The ladies were the three seed coming in to the district tournament and will be the fourth seed at state tournament. Good luck this weekend. Make, Make it a great, great week, Brian! Brian.